Welcome to the video tutorials of Mechanisms by Mechanism Alarm. Here you are viewing a simple design concept of a gearless wing flapping mechanism that I recently came up with. Initially, I spent quite a bit of time trying to build a wing flapping mechanism without using a single gear. The ideas that I came up with were complex and not sturdy enough. Also, I was unable to get the desired wing flap angle to power an or ornithopter. Recently, I was working on an animation titled The Trammel of Archimedes, and it dawned on me that it could be used in a wing flapping mechanism which would eliminate the need for gears. In this video, we're going to describe how I'm going to do this. I'm planning on continuing to work on this mechanism to further improve it, and I'm open to suggestions to make this design better. If you ever build one, please send me a video of it so that I can put a link of your video on my webpage. I would also appreciate it if you gave me credit in your video and put a link to this YouTube video. This mechanism consists of a trammel of Archimedes and a scotch yoke mechanism to power the wings. The advantage of this design is that it does not require complex gear mechanisms. By tweaking the design, you can build a wing flapping mechanism with a wide range of wind swept angles from 0 to 180 degrees. And with a few add-on mechanisms, there are many solutions to advance the capabilities of this design. This mechanism here may seem very complex, since there are many parts that are overlapping in this 2D animation. To overcome this problem, I will remove the components from the front towards the back. This will allow you to understand which parts come first. Later, I will describe the purpose of the parts. Later, my friend Mr. Tang from Vietnam, whose animations are admired by hundreds of thousands of people, will create a 3D version of this animation. Once it is available, I will add a link to this animation in the description section of this video. Let's first remove the wings attached to the trammel of Archimedes from this mechanism. Before doing this, I should remind you that the wings were intentionally made very small compared to the mechanism in order to fit the flapping action on the animation screen. In, real, in a real life application, they should be much longer than what we see here. Unlike the trammel of Archimedes, which uses one horizontal and one perpendicular slider, my mechanism uses two horizontal sliders, shown here in yellow, and one perpendicular slider, shown here in red. As seen previously, the wings are connected to these sliders. Now let's turn off all of them individually. Next, we will remove the trammel of Archimedes. Here, the scotch yoke slider is moving up and down. Also, notice that there are four screw holes on the slider which will be used to connect the perpendicular wing slider shown here in red. Now, let's remove the slider too. What's left off is a part that looks like the trammel of Archimedes with one perpendicular grove in which a scotch yoke slider is moving up and down. I will call this part the scotch yoke body plate. Since the part we're going to describe is rotating inside the scotch yoke body plate, we will, re we will turn it off after the scotch yoke cam. Now what we see here is the scotch yoke cam. The green circular tongue-like extension of this cam slides inside the scotch yoke slider as described previously. The bottom part of this cam has a cylindrical shape which rotates inside the grove located on the scotch yoke body plate. When we remove this cam, what we see is the scotch yoke body plate. Then we will remove the scotch yoke body plate. Notice that the scotch yoke body plate will be used to hold all the assembly parts together and attach a motor to the mechanism. Finally, we will remove the motor from the animation. Since the yellow and red sliders are moving inside the groves of the trammel of Archimedes, they should have a dovetail shape to prevent the slider from coming out of the groves, which would make the mechanism fail. This is shown in the figures seen here. Here we see the trammel of Archimedes' two perpendicular groves in the front of the figure. 
Here we see that the Scotch yoke slider has a narrower horizontal grove, which allows the cam cylinder to move freely inside. This is the Scotch yoke body plate for the mechanism. Four small holes in the four corners of the Scotch yoke body plate are used to connect it to the trammel of Archimedes with a spacer and screws to hold the mechanism together. We would appreciate it if you were ever to make a working design of this application that you give the proper credit to me. It will make this channel more visible to people like yourself who want to learn about the mechanisms. We appreciate your support.